Hello, it's Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. A um, little bit of a short video for uh, this time. I um, want to talk a bit about Chinese fountain pens and nibs. Um, it's going to be a brief video. Basically, what it is, I got four nib sizes in the post today. Ordered them from eBay uh, for about £1.25 per nib uh, from China. It took about a week, week and a half to arrive um, via airmail, which is pretty good. And these are Lamy style nibs, and I got these specifically for these pens. The Wingsong 3008, um, which is piston filler. I've done a review of this pen previously. I'll uh, get around to popping a link to that review in the description below so hit the downward arrow and um, you'll be able to find that when I upload it so I'm going to upload this video and it's going to take me a day or two to uh, get to the computer and um, and add that to the description of this video so do bear with me if you're watching this early on um, or just search through my videos and um, on my channel and you'll find the Wingsong 3008 review there. So what it is, these two Wingsong 3008s, I absolutely love these pens. They're very, very good daily writers, piston fillers, unscrew the cap. You've got a nice piston that locks in place. You can raise and lower it, click. There we go, locks it in place, and these hold quite a lot of ink, so really good from that point of view. And they're all sold in general, so let's see if we can get this to focus, there we go. Fine on the nib, F, fine nibs. Um, the majority, not all, I mean, Jin Hao, X450s and the like, often more likely or not available with medium nibs. These Wingsong, Wingsong pens, 3008s, 3009s, usually come with fine nibs. As it happens, the nibs on these pens I have found, on the whole, to be excellent. Really, really, really good nibs. Smooth steel nibs. Um, very good from that point of view. For a daily writer, I mean, these things hold a lot of ink in the piston uh, filling mechanism. And with a fine nib, you can write for ages with them. They really are good daily writers. But one thing I found in my own fountain pen journey is that I actually I actually do prefer a broader nib. These are fine for use at work on cheap paper where you know absorbency is potentially a bit of an issue. But I wanted to um, I, want, I enjoy using nice inks and I enjoy using inks that shade and I enjoy using wet nibs and I'm starting to really get into perhaps medium broad and upwards in nib sizes so I had a quick search on eBay found one seller on uh, eBay from China who was selling a range of replacement steel nibs for these Wingsong 3008s, 3009s, also says it'll fit Lamy pens, so we're talking Lamy Safari All-Star, things like that, because of this very similar winged design, which just slide on and off. It's quite easy. Oh, there we go, pulled out the whole feed there. Oh, I'll put that in in a minute. Put that to one side. <laughs> stop it rolling away but these nibs I mean they do fit quite tightly on onto the feed with these wings at the sides but they do pull off I'm not about to start messing around with it now so this is more of an update video than anything else I've got four nib sizes they didn't come in these little plastic containers these are things that I bought from Hobbycraft uh, I bought a pack of ten for about three pounds so these are the nibs, if we can get one out, this is a medium, as you can see, yeah, simple winged design, slides on and off the feed, and you'll see on there, it's very small lettering, it's not focusing particularly well, it is quite small, medium M, medium, so I've got 
four nib sizes that I've popped into these little containers. They're the medium ones, I mean, you can't really see. But I've also got 1.1 millimeter nibs. 1.5 millimeter nibs. They'll be quite good. And also 1.9 millimeter nibs. So I've got a selection of these uh, these nibs to uh, try in these Wingsong 3008 pens that I have several of and really enjoy using, um, so that I can get firstly a broader line when I'm writing, and also enjoy some of the ink properties that don't always show up in fine nibbed fountain pens, uh, shading, things like that. So I'm really looking forward to swapping out the nibs in these 3008s with these broader nibs and I'll also try them on uh, Alami, All Star, Safari, things like that. See how they fit, see how they perform. So click the subscribe button, you'll have to hit the notification bell a couple of times to be subscribed to all videos, not just occasional ones. So please do that. It's going to take me a week or two to really test these nibs, see what they like, do a proper review of them um, in these pens. Watch this space. They might turn out to be rubbish, but hopefully not. I'm going to enjoy using these nibs, so please do uh, stay tuned and watch out for that next video when it uh, comes up. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.